Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa. If you are new here, your favorite problematic housewife. Today we're going to be talking about Radiant Brit. Yes, another video about Radiant Brit. As you guys know, she has been covering a family called the Daugherty Dozen. A woman who has 12 kids. A lot of them are adopted. She takes a lot of kids in. And Radiant Brit is pretty much obsessed with this woman at this point. It's very weird. Um, I understand that she's a family channel, mommy vlogger, and a lot of people have issues with how she shared in the past medical information about her child, which, I mean, that's her decision, but that's just my opinion. I do understand how she might have shared too much, but Britt has taken it a step further in her commentary, I'm saying it with air quotes, by picking apart her grocery list, what she's buying for groceries, what she's buying her kids clothes, where they're going on vacation, how they're packing for vacation. She has just nitpicked, mom, mom shamed, and ripped this woman's life, ripped this woman's life apart. I think most of Radiant Brit's videos on Alicia from the Dar Who Doesn't Are Bad, but recently she hit an all new low when she did a video ripping apart Alicia's house. And not only did she rip apart her house, she didn't give the full context. She was very dishonest in her video, and I'm going to explain as we go. We're going to react to this video, which was just disgusting. Radiant Brit is just nasty. Her nasty ass doesn't know when to stop. Let's get into the video. Let's start watching it. Hey you guys, it's Brit tonight. We're here with a little bit of an update on the Doherty Dozen. There were some recent photos that were released. I was sent them numerous times and I want to talk to you guys about these. When she said she was sent these numerous times, she really means she's been on Reddit because that is exactly where those photos that she's about to get into were posted. Radiant Brit gets everything from Reddit and gossip sites. And the problem is she doesn't look into it further. As you will see as we go through the video, she got these pictures of Alicia's house, a mess, you know, just like a lot of us moms, and decided to rip this woman apart. But what she didn't tell her audience was that the pictures are from a video from the first day of school. Alicia has 12 kids. She did a video about back to school and she was showing all the rooms and all the chaos and what a mess was made getting ready for school. And then she cleaned it up and showed all the pictures of the clean rooms in the house. But Britt didn't show that. She just decided to show the mess and rip this woman apart. It was disgusting. It's going to be one of those moments that is not going to make Alicia look good. And I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous to make this video. That usually doesn't happen to me. But I am a bit nervous because I know for a fact that some people are going to come in my comments and say, you shouldn't have an opinion about this. This is not, you know, why are you sharing thoughts around this? Blah, blah, blah. Hmm, I wonder what that was. Something telling Brit not to make this video and that she was nervous about it. That is called your conscience, Brit. The little bit of conscience that you have left was telling you that this was disgusting and wrong. This is not commentary. And I understand from a certain point that being a parent is super crazy busy, okay? That's common knowledge. However, when you willingly sign up to bring 12 children into your home, you are signing up to cook, clean, keep them safe, not exploit them, um, help them with their homework, make sure that they are getting the nutrition and exercise that they need. I am so sick of hearing her say, you signed up for this, you signed up for this. A lot of us signed up to be parents, okay? A lot of us plan to have our children, but that doesn't mean that we aren't allowed to have struggles, that we aren't allowed to have hard days, that we aren't allowed to be hectic and busy and have a messy house. 
Stop saying that shit. It's ridiculous. She took in all of these kids to give them a better life. They were in horrible situations. They were in bad situations that involved drugs and abuse and trauma. And Alicia took them in and gave them a better life. So to sit here and criticize her because of her house is outrageous to me. These kids were in drug houses and being abused and full of trauma and neglect. This is ridiculous. Here's my kind of unpopular opinion already. A lot of her kids should be helping her around the house and that's something that I never see. Not during summer vacation, not during the school year. I know that she gives them chores, but I don't think that she follows through because to me, and this is my personal opinion based off of watching so much of her content, Alicia kind of seems like the pushover. And why does Brit care? Seriously, you guys, why does Brit care what chores she's giving her 12 kids? And she actually does give her kids chores. She has talked about it in numerous videos. And let's be honest, Radiant Brit is not watching this woman's content. Radiant Brit is watch Radiant Brit. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be Radiant Bitch. She is watching Reddit. She's watching Reddit. And whatever is being said on Reddit, Brit is echoing that on her channel. She does that with multiple creators that she talks about. She doesn't look into anything. She does the least amount of research that I have ever seen on a commentary channel. Why does she give a shit what this woman's house looks like? What chores she's giving her children? Why is she telling this woman that she needs to give her kids all these chores and her kids aren't doing enough and all? Like, what? She has 12 kids, okay? I have four kids, and they're very little. It is so hard to keep up and get everything done. Even when kids go to school, you don't have as much time in the day as you think. You think that, oh my gosh, my kids are in school, I'm going to have all this time during the day. No, you don't have time during the day, especially if you need to go to the post office, you need to go to the grocery store. That's a couple hours. Any other errands? anything else you're doing. And then on top of that, creating videos and content is very time consuming. And that is her job. She is a working mom. So no, she probably doesn't have a lot of time in the day to get the house clean, laundry done, get dinner ready and all this stuff. My mom was the pushover with me when I was growing up. She would tell me, do the dishes, take the trash out. And I could sit at home and bullshit around all day and she might get a little mad when she gets home but she's not going to do anything really serious about it she was not an enforcer so not in all houses but sometimes you have the pushover parent and the parent that is the enforcer if my dad told me to do the dishes and take the trash out it would have been done 10 minutes after he walked out the door because he was the enforcer and i respected him um so I don't ever see her kids helping out. I don't see them help, you know, helping to like cook dinner on a consistent basis. Once in a while, they'll get involved. But these kids are not two and three years old, like running around. These kids should follow through on chores if they're given a chore. Well, here comes Britt, the chore police. Brit is going to be right there to make sure everyone's kids are doing their chores. This is the weirdest video. <laughs> Who makes content like this, you guys? This is not commentary. Talking about someone's parenting, their house, what chores their kids are doing. Come on. And if you have kids, you know, it is a hell of, it is a, hell of a time trying to get kids to do chores okay especially if you have multiple kids they're hungry they're tired they don't want to do it they're complaining the whole time sometimes it is more trouble than it's worth trying to get kids to do chores but it's really weird that I even have to explain this like who I just don't understand why Brit cares 
She literally hates this woman and just sits on her channel day after day, mom shaming the hell out of her. And it's disgusting. And all the people in the comments saying even worse shit than Brit should be ashamed of themselves. This is just absolutely gross. I know that I'm babbling, but I'm a little upset and a little bit disgusted as to these images. All it does for me is confirms that things are not this perfect little Doherty dozen. We're just a wholesome little family where, you know, mom's taking in 12 kids and just doing her best and we're making cute little TikToks and, you know, the kids are getting all the snacks that they need in order to be happy. Okay, I kind of agree a little bit with Brit in this part because I do understand that the mom content lately has just gotten so fake and that is why I like am using my second channel it's called the hot mess mom I will leave it down below if you guys want to subscribe I do vlogs I do real mom like real raw life as a mom if my house is messy, if my kids are pooping all over the place and puking and the busyness. And I feel like a lot of moms on YouTube have kind of lost their way when it comes to just showing real genuine life. It's like a perfectly curated box of music and clips and everything's perfect. The clean white kitchen. But I don't really think that Alicia is like that. I mean, she will show when her house is a mess. She will tell everybody real life. I don't understand where Britt got this idea that Alicia is trying to portray this perfect life. She tells everybody her water's not working. She has to go to the laundromat. This part of the house is a mess. She actually does share a lot of real life. So I'm not understanding where this came from. I have never really seen Alicia pretend like everything's perfect. I have not seen that from her. And... How would these pictures be there? If Alicia was not showing her house messy, how would Brit even have these photos? So it doesn't make sense how she's saying Alicia's trying to hide all this. This stuff was in a video on her channel and she showed how hectic and chaotic the first day of school is. So like Brit didn't even seem to know where these photos came from. That's how little research she does. She has no idea what these photos were, why they were in a video, clips, like what it was going on. She has no freaking clue. This is a room, don't know what room it is, don't really care, but there is just a bunch of stuff all over the floor. There is, um, as the person on Reddit mentioned, $130 water bottle just laying on the floor. There you go. Now you guys, who does this? How cruel to sit and post screenshots of somebody's house and be like, look, this is on the floor. Look, this is dirty. First of all, that wasn't even that bad. It was a little messy, yes, but she has 12 kids. And you want to hear something interesting? There was a channel that did this to me. They took still shots of my house and posted it in a video and were saying, this is dirty, that was dirty, look how disgusting she is. And they were a troll. So how interesting that Brit is just as disgusting and cruel as a troll. Hmm, says a lot, doesn't it? Now if we go over to the um, photo of their bathroom, there is not only stuff all over the door, there's stuff all over the cabinet and dirty clothes on the floor. And it's a complete disaster. Um, stuff all over the floor, bins and bins of laundry that's either dirty or clean and needs to be put away. This is a photo that is very interesting to me. Her food waste has been a common point of discussion for a very long time. Now, if you look at this image, not only does she have bread out the wazoo, bread goes bad really quickly, so I don't know why you have that much bread, but either way, look at the fruits and all of these like banana bread or whatever it is that she made. Why so much when the kids are not eating it? Most kids, and sit on this kitchen counter that looks like an absolute disaster. Ooh, 
their dining room area. It's a little blurry, but as you can tell, it's a complete disaster. Now here's another interesting one. This looks like an entryway where there are just shoes and bags and coats and umbrellas and stuff piled so high that the door can't even close. And there's just zero organization to anything. Let's not ever put up on our YouTube and Instagram that people need to get organized when this is what's going on behind the scenes of your videos. Maybe you should focus on your own house before you're telling other people to get organized and do your cute little color-coded schedules and everything is just, um, you know, an aesthetic for social media so that you can get more clicks and views. Man, Brit would have a field day doing commentary on my house. Let me tell you guys right now. Let's remember this woman has 12 kids. Okay, Brit is so nasty, dude. Kids throw shoes near the door in backpacks. That doesn't even look that bad. That looks like most people's houses who have children. But all of these people see on YouTube, these mommy vloggers like Tara Henderson, Tiffany Beeston, um, like that, who don't have any of that stuff out because they put it away because they are always filming. Alicia is showing what most people's houses look like. That is normal. It is normal to have shoes everywhere. It is normal to have your kids' clothes on the bathroom floor. My kids throw their clothes on the bathroom floor. This is all normal and okay. What we've been programmed to see on YouTube is not normal and not real life. Somebody who can sit on their channel and rip apart a mother's house like this, who has 12 children, is vile. Brit is vile. She is one of the most disgusting commentary channels I think there is. I don't see any commentary channels doing stuff like this. Not out in the world of commentary, only in the anti-mommy vlogger community do people make videos like this. It's fucking outrageous and it's gross. I was so bad watching this video. I was like, what is wrong with Brit? Who does this? Who can be so hateful uh, inside and nasty to sit there and rip apart somebody's house? Okay? And all the Brit freaking fans would be like, wow, how are you different than Brit? Really? How am I different than Brit? Am I ripping apart somebody's house? Am I mom shaming people? Am I ripping apart someone's parenting and saying, don't give them Doritos and cake pops and talking about what they buy? No, I don't do that shit. So miss me with that argument. And the last image here is a bathroom door and there is just stuff all over it, paint. This looks like such a trash hole of a place. Like, how dare you? The thing that I think about- Wow. What, a trash hole? A trash hole. The only fucking trash hole is Radiant Brit. The only trash hole is Radiant Brit. She is a piece of trash on the street that rolls around, gets stepped on, melts into the ground, and is hot and nasty and rotting. That is Radiant Brit. Who does this? Moms are busy. It's okay if your house is unorganized and a mess. This is why people are afraid to share their real life, and this is why... I started making the vlogs that I did because of people like this, because of assholes like this who sit there and judge other parents for what they do and eat and buy and their kids aren't doing enough chores. They're not disciplining them good enough. There's towels on the floor. Everything's disgusting. What is wrong with people? And the people in the comments who think this is okay... You guys need your head examined. If you think this is okay to do, you are tapped in the head. You need help. About so often is that kids are a product of their environment. And if Alicia wants to be this savior that is bringing kids into her home and 
giving them such a great environment and giving them all the snacks that they need. And she um, has a sensory room. Who knows where that's buried within their house. And everything is just nurturing and positive. If she wants to be that savior, I don't understand how she could say that with a straight face, knowing that this is what the environment that she's expecting children to flourish in looks like. So let's talk a little bit about Brit lying and being dishonest. Now she's either lying or she is just so lazy that she didn't even look into this. As I said towards the beginning of the video, these pictures are from a video of back to school. I want all of you to think about the first day back to school with your children. Whether you have one, two, three, four, I have four. Only one is in school right now, well two now. Um, she was showing the chaos of getting 12 kids. I think it's hard for some people to fathom what it's like getting 12 kids to school, what it's like feeding 12 children, what it is like taking care of 12 kids. And afterwards, she showed the house clean. I will show you some pictures. I will link the video down below. Go check out the video since Britt doesn't want to give context, since Britt doesn't want to link the video where those photos came from. When she's talking about the bread, I buy so much bread, okay? And this is so stupid that I have to explain this, okay? When I buy bread, I don't just buy one loaf of bread. I buy white bread because my kids like white bread. I buy bagels. I buy English muffins. I will buy rolls for sandwiches. And then I buy the whole grain bread that I like. And the bread goes very fast, okay? There's only like six bagels. There's only six bagels in a container, a bag of bagels. She has 12 kids. So if 12 children have a bagel for breakfast, that's two bags of bagels gone in one day. Think about that. Imagine how much bread she goes through. Like this is so dumb that I even have to explain this because it's nobody's business. It's weird. It's weird that people care about this kind of stuff. Who cares how much bread she buys? I just cannot understand what her problem is. It's not normal. And just to reiterate, I understand that having 12 kids in the house is messy and you know I'm sure that it gets really really crazy but why are you bringing so many more products into a home that is already full of things first things first the clothing as you can see these kids have baskets and baskets and backs baskets of clothes why do you care Brit Brit will never tell anybody or respond to why she actually cares about this if you say, why do you care? She just says, well, it's public content. No, no. Why does Radiant Brit care? Why does she care if there's three laundry baskets full of clothes in this woman's house? Why does anybody care? That's weird. Okay? That's weird. And kids always need new clothes. Just because they have a lot of clothes... You buy new stuff with, for the first day of school, right? And things get dirty and stained and then those stuff turns into play clothes and then you need to buy new clothes for them to wear to school. That's how it goes in my house. My kids have play clothes, they have school clothes and then they have nicer clothes to do things but the nice clothes usually turn into the play clothes and then you need to go buy new clothes. Then, you know, they grow out of stuff but it's actually a whole to do to go through all their stuff and pick out the things that don't fit anymore and put them in totes and put them away. There's just not enough time in the day to do stuff like that. And Britt doesn't have kids so she would not understand how that works. And the people in her comments who do have kids, they know. They know how it works. They just hate this woman. They hate mommy vloggers. They hate Alicia. And they're just on social media trolling and being hateful and ripping apart everything this woman does. When I would love to see what their houses look like. I would love to see it. Because if you have multiple kids, you're probably your house probably looks similar to mine. And then you have the audacity to get online and start talking shit about this mother when these people probably have the same fucking house, it's sick. Gone down that rabbit hole before, food waste is a huge problem. 
and it's a slap in the face to anyone who's watching her videos who is struggling to feed their own kids. Here comes Radiant Virtue Signaler, Virtue Signaling to the World. Come on, dude. She doesn't care about food waste. She doesn't care about people who can't afford to feed her kids, their kids. Radiant Brit does not care about any of that. She is fake. She is a fraud. And that is why I talk about on her, her on my channel. Because she is a virtue signaling nasty person. And she is going to sit here on her high horse and act like she cares about all these issues in the world of food waste and homeless people and you can't feed your kids and all this and justify her nasty behavior. This is what Brit does. This is the epitome of Radiant Brit. Using issues like that to virtue signal and use that as an excuse to be nasty to people. She has done this since the beginning of her channel. She will use a cause like exploited kid. Now, food waste or anything like that. She will take a cause or a social issue, virtue signal the hell out of it, and use it to go after people. Use it to rile up her audience. Use it to be nasty and hateful and disgusting. That is who Radiant Brit is. And she gets a kick out of getting away with being nasty. She gets away with how nasty she is. And it's unbelievable to me. Very hectic household. And not only is it hectic, but it's also very messy. And with the amount of money that Alicia is making, let's just put out this pretend scenario. Let's just say that she's just too busy. She's preoccupied staring at her phone, replying to comments, having best friend chats with Auntie Lauren all day. So she doesn't have time to clean. And she's the pushover parent, so chores don't get done by the kids. With the amount of money that she's making, because as a reminder, over 300,000 a month from YouTube alone, why don't you hire a maid service to come in three or four days a week? and help you out. Why? You have all of this extra income instead of buying clothes or food that, that's gonna clog up more space in your house, put that money towards hiring a maid. You're too busy harding comments and figuring out how much money you can blow at, you know, BJ's or Costco tomorrow instead of actually keeping somewhat of a sane environment for these children to flourish in. Because if she's pitching her house as a safe house and one where kids are growing and they're taught that they're beautiful, and they are, if that's what she is advertising her home to be, I just don't think that the visual representations of what these photos just showed and giving a child a quiet, clean, safe environment, I don't see those two coexisting. And the Radiant Brit isn't saying, though, that they should have a clean, quiet home. She's pretty much saying that Alicia should be a sergeant and work her children to death to clean the house, keep it clean, give them rules, give them chores. So, like, what are you saying, Brit? I can't with this woman. I really, I just can't understand at all how this is helping anybody. What is the point of having commentary on somebody's house? And all of the people watching Brit, if they have a house similar to Alicia, she's making them feel like crap. Okay? It's not the mommy vloggers making us feel like crap. It's people like Brit. And it's people like Brit why... We, as moms, are nervous to share real life and share the messes and share the, the real hard things that we go through as mothers because of judgmental people like Brit and her nasty freaking audience. Also, Alicia has said, like, they are busting out of that house and they are trying to find a new house, okay? And as far as the maid service... Listen, maids do not pick up, okay? Again, Radiant Brit has no idea what she's talking about. 
If you want maids to come clean, you have to have everything picked up because they will scrub toilets. They will like do um, wash the walls, like dust things. They are not going to pick up. They are not picking up laundry. They are not picking up toys. They are not organizing and putting things away. You actually have to have all that stuff out of the way. It is more stressful sometimes to have a cleaning person come in your home. So she doesn't know what she's talking about. In my last pregnancy, um, my husband got a cleaning person to come help me because towards the end I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. And he was working and it was stressful because you have to have everything ready for the cleaning person to come in. And also you have somebody in your house, they're pulling things out, they're cleaning, it's causing chaos. It causes more chaos and stress sometimes to have someone in your house doing things, touching everything. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like having cleaning people in my house. I don't want them touching my stuff. I don't want to have to worry about picking up for them to come. It's more stress than it's worth. Because everything is a disaster within an hour after they clean. Because you have kids that make messes. And as far as the stuff on the door and the... My kids draw on the wall. They spill my coffee. They'll steal my coffee and it splatters all over the wall. There's paint splatters. Alicia has a lived-in house. You can tell that she has a home that is full of love and children. And that is... A house that is a home for kids. Things aren't perfect. It's cozy. It's comfortable. You know, there's paint everywhere and marker drawings and kids are spilling things. That is life with kids. People should just embrace that and stop trying to be perfect all the time because that is not real life and that is stressful. Okay? When you are spending time with your kids... You aren't cleaning. And that's what a lot of people don't understand, like Radiant Brit. When you are with your kids and they have your full attention, how are you cleaning? Like, that's the thing that I deal with. If I'm cleaning the house, my kids aren't getting my attention and they're mad and they're having meltdowns and they're fighting. But when I'm playing with them and spending time with them, I'm not cleaning my house because you can't do both at the same time. It doesn't work that way. Alicia is a good mother. She took in 12 children. She is doing her best. She feeds them. She clothes them. She takes them on vacations. She does her best. She sits and does homework with them and they have fun and they do crafts and things get messy. That doesn't mean that that's a horrible house. Brit is making it seem like it's this disgusting, dangerous, you know, awful situation these kids are in and they're living in squalor with rotten food and messes everywhere. It's awful what she's doing to this woman. This is harassment at this point. It really is. And the last thing that I will say is as far as kinship placement, if I were a guardian ad litem or anyone who was kind of overlooking the situation, if I saw these photos, I would have something to say. And that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Wow. And this is where Radiant Brick crosses the line continually into real life territory. Why is she planting the seed for her audience that Alicia should not have kinship placements? She shouldn't be adopting children. She would have something to say. This is awful, you guys. And I really want the people who think what she's doing is okay to sit there and think like, what? Like, are, would I want that done to me? Would you want somebody to take photos of your house the way it is with no notice and put it on YouTube and pick apart every room? Again, she cleaned up. Also, that's the other thing. This woman cleaned up after the first day of school. Like, the fact that Brit is not giving the full context also pisses me off. Then the kids leave. Oh, we gotta drop off Deshaun's lunchbox. And I clean up with a disaster that was created from 12 kids getting ready this morning. It's just like... And I just wake up. 
You did not just wake up. You woke up at 5.30. What are you doing, Dixie? You look guilty of something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean up, do the dishes. Put this away. Come here. I don't know if Oma's is coming today or not. And this is basically how every room in my house is left. Every morning, it's like a war zone. Dirty clothes everywhere. Yeah, I don't know what Zoe did to her door. Nana's gonna paint that for me. Just. just like, I don't understand why, why? As you can see, Brid got those pictures from the video I just showed you. And one, she's showing everything. Two, it's from the first day of school. So she's not hiding it. She's showing what everything looks like after the first day of school, how it's hectic and chaotic and dirty. So I'm not sure how Brit is putting that with, oh, she's trying to be perfect. She's literally showing the mess, and now Brit is using it against her without sharing any context of it was the first day of school, and now she's about to clean it all up. It's funny because I think people think that I do nothing all day. <laughs> well, my kids are in school, but here's what I do. Literally. That is really funny because Brit literally just said she does nothing all day. Her kids are in school, and she's literally vlogging and showing what she's doing all day. This is outrageous, you guys. Either Brit is, like, intentionally and maliciously not sharing this information, or she is that stupid and lazy where she can't do a little bit of research to dig into where these photos came from. Like, which is it? We pick up the pieces and put the house back in order every single day. <sighs> James's room. Like the batteries. Anyone else? Teen boys, just batteries everywhere, always. That's exactly how my teenager's room looks like. Teenagers are messy. I'm not sure where Britt is getting that Alicia's trying to be this perfect savior when she's literally showing everything. It doesn't make sense. The logic is just not there, you guys. Where is she trying to be perfect and have a perfect life and everything's perfect all the time? I don't see that from Alicia in her videos whatsoever. Britt is just a hateful, nasty, bitter person that seriously needs to do some self-reflection because... The fact that she's this angry over somebody's vlogs is not normal. And I gotta take care of the chickens. What's up, girls? My mom ended up taking Harley to the museum. I wasn't sure if she was coming today or not. So I just ordered Panera for lunch. I'm gonna surprise Josh with a lunch at home just me and him this has not happened in a long time i'm gonna quick continue to clean up um i did the dishes i gotta clean up this disaster of a table um yeah i'm gonna clean up as much as i can before he comes home on lunch break it is so strange to me that so many people hate this woman i don't understand she's just doing regular content also i saw some people saying that she doesn't post medical information about the kids anymore. She stopped doing that. But Brit and others are still continuing to talk about it. And from what I have just went back to look, she isn't really doing that anymore. She's just doing regular vlogs of her everyday life. I haven't seen her overshare very much in a while. Okay, it's still a work in progress, but it is somewhat better. I got all the shoes organized again, all the coats and jackets hung up. Hi, Dixie. And I got the table finally picked up. That pile is all um, promos and unboxing stuff I need to do soon. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this lady's house and she literally is showing how she's been cleaning it up all day. That is a win. Anytime moms can get things cleaned up, that is a win. And Britt conveniently left out that this woman has been picking up all day after her 12 children went to school. Why did she leave that out? 
I I seriously don't know, guys, if it's either lack of research or she really is being that dishonest. But it's easily debunked that Britt left that out. It's easily proven that Alicia cleaned all this stuff up and is showing it on camera. She's showing the good. She's showing the bad. She's showing what she got done, showing the mess on the first day of school. So I don't understand, like, what the hell Britt is doing. I hope she's happy with herself. I really do. I hope she's happy. Brit and her nasty trash can ass. I hope she's happy ripping a hardworking mother's house apart, her parenting apart, how she treats her children apart, everything about this woman rip, rips apart. But not only that, she's spreading lies and false narratives and taking things out of context. Imagine if somebody took a picture of your dirty dishes right before you did the dishes. You have a sink full of dishes, there's a shot, and posted on YouTube and said what a dirty, disgusting person you are, even though after that shot you washed the dishes five minutes later. That is what Brit did. It's disgusting, it's vile, and this is not okay. I won't stand for it, and I will continue to call Brit out when she does shit like this, because it's bad and gross. Brit is one of the most nasty, toxic, commentary channels around she's bad so let me know what you guys think down below this video just really pissed me off I'm sorry if I was getting a little spicy a little feisty a little sassy it really made me mad not only did she rip apart the woman's house it pissed me off that she left out all of the other context of her cleaning it and showing the real mess and cleaning it afterwards it's not okay I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.